The housing clinic, it, what it does is it brings law school students in to Legal Aid Justice Center. It's basically helping you know, lower income tenants and landlords um, deal with you know, issues as, as basic as maybe getting their you know, security deposit back or, or maybe even it just there's a whole gamut of you know, Section 8 housing. So we basically you know, offer them our legal services and get the opportunity to get some experience. Our supervising attorneys are John Conover, who's pretty much here full time, and Paige Henley, uh, who's here about half the time, and just they're, they're great. With the supervision of attorneys, we work with local um, community members, whether they're the city of Charlottesville or some of the surrounding counties with some of their housing issues. John Conover referred Amanda to my case. I was thinking I wasn't going to win the case, but the advice that she gave was pretty impacting, so I think I'll just go ahead and pursue it. It's constantly looking at each case and each student and trying to balance pushing them in the right direction but making sure that they're really doing the walking. John definitely wants you to actually go and find it and if he knows the answer he'll make sure you, you find it but he's not going to you know, give it to you that easy. If he asks me too obvious a question too many times I will say you know look it up but maybe here's where you can look it up. And they're always there to, to kind of coach you along and it's, it's been great. We meet every week to basically kind of talk about the cases. Um, I think John and Paige are pretty up to date on all the cases that they're supervising, um, but it's mostly an opportunity for the rest of us to hear what's going on in other people's cases. But it's also really helpful um, in the sense that just as John and Paige can point out things, just as colleagues, we'll see things in someone's cases that um, they won't necessarily see because they're either too entrenched. Or the flip side will be somebody will do something that could be really helpful to your case. During the sessions, we really go over what what is happening in that case, what that what they've done in the past week, what they need to do in the next week. Uh, some of it is just sort of talking about what facts you're going to get, how you're going to get them, uh, and what kind of legal theory are you going to develop. We went to trial actually um, last semester for uh, two sisters that were having uh, issues with you know, moving out of their apartment. Uh, the landlord said they'd been there too long, and they. They kind of you know, disagreed. And that was interesting because that was my first um, trial experience. So Matt and I were co-counsel together. Matt had taken trial ed before, so he had some semblance of like evidence and where you're supposed to stand and what you're supposed to say. We actually had kind of a, a mock trial in class the day before the trial. But we actually did a lot better in trial. And, and the case actually came out pretty well for us. But yeah, it's uh, until you actually do it. That's one of the best parts of this class is just experience. A really exciting case right now um, is related to a client who uh, received Section 8, which is one of those situations where you know if she doesn't get her Section 8 um, reinstated, she really can't afford housing. So it's I mean it's a real possibility of homelessness, and you know you meet this client, and you meet her kids, and it, you really get attached to the case, and and uh, so that's been pretty. That's probably as, as compelling as it's gotten for me. To prevent homelessness is to keep people housed. Um, and sometimes it's just a matter of what happens within a week as to whether or not someone stays in their home or not. And this is a clinic that really gave me the opportunity to, to kind of put that into work in the Charlottesville community. I just think the biggest thing is probably for me has been client interaction. And it's just been a challenge. It's been a fun challenge. It's something definitely that you've got to learn eventually. And to this point, I really hadn't had too much experience with it. So it's, it's been fun to actually deal with a you know, living, breathing person.